In Tel Aviv, smiling faces adorn the cityscape, but the trauma of the 240 hostages taken by Hamas gunmen remains. Among the hostages were 30 children, including a 9-month-old baby. Their fate in Gaza is still unknown. For Israelis, this ongoing trauma is a reminder of the recent massacres and the inhumanity of kidnapping children. Israel has faced numerous hostage crises over the years, often paying high prices for its citizens' release. In the 1980s, prisoner swaps with Palestinian and Lebanese armed groups were common, even for the bodies of fallen soldiers. In 2006, Hamas kidnapped 19-year-old soldier Gilad Shalit, leading to a five-year campaign for his release. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu authorized the largest ever prisoner exchange to bring Shalit home. Over a thousand inmates were released, including Yahya Sinwar, who later became the leader of Hamas in Gaza. A key figure involved in the Shalit deal believes that the circumstances now are different, making a comprehensive deal unlikely.